hi viewers welcome to the next youtube channel in this tutorial i am going to explain you how to create twin profile connection plates in tecla structures just like this okay let's start open your tecla structures with use environment now we're going to create twin profile so click on steel and click on this arrow hold the shift button and click on this twin profile to get twin profile property window just like this okay now we're going to change the twin profile angle so click on here click on this option l6 l6 by 6 by half inch let's take this profile then click on apply ok if you want to change the twin profile type you can change from here click on this arrow triangle arrow we have the different types of twin profile types in this list you can select from here as you require currently i'm going to take this profile and scroll it down the clearance between the two angles by default we have 3 by 8 inch we are going to take off inch for example then pick the first point pick the second point to create the twin profile you can see now we have the twin profile with the angle l 6 by 6 by half inch and the gap should be half inch between the two angles okay and close this window and right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse read okay now we're going to create views so click on grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines click on create and okay let's take elevation along grid a click on this elevation on grid here you can see this is the elevation along grid a then click on this arrow and close this window and zoom it okay now we're going to check the spacing between the two angles so click on edit and click on measure and select the horizontal distance and activate this option snap to geometry lines or points and pick the first point and pick the second point and place the side of the dimension you can see now we have the half inch and right click on mouse interrupt and select the angle you can see now the angle size should be l 6 by 6 by half inch thickness okay right click on mouse interrupt and click on space right click on mouse to w now click on window and set this 3d view and zoom it use the shortcut control 2 for transparent view like this shaded view go to the window and select the view list and let's take planet elevation 0 and click on this arrow now we have the top view like this okay now we're going to create the connection plate between the twin profiles so click on this application components you can use the shortcut control f also in search bar type number 1046 you can see you'll get this component twin profile connection plate 1046 select this component and pick the angle you can pick any one angle and pick the position at middle of this angle to create the connection plate between twin profiles zoom it you can see you'll get like this then right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse you you can see you'll get like this now we're going to edit this plate thickness and width length and bolt sizes also so double click on this component symbol and close this window go to the parts tab in parts you can change the thickness of this plate by default the plate thickness should be same as the gap between the two angles if you want to increase you can increase for example i'm going to take here 3 by 4 inch then click on modify you can see click on space right click on mouse view view now this plate intersect into the angle but as per the gap we require off inch thickness so select the plate and let's take here off inch then click on modify to see the result then click on space right click on mouse view you can see now the plate thickness is equal to the gap okay now 
go to the elevation along grid 2 click on window and select the view list elevation on grid 2 and zoom it now we're going to change the length of this plate so for example select this component and let's take here 7 inch length of the plate so click on modify to see the result you can see now the plate length should be 7 inch click on space right click on master draw view you can check the length of this plate also click on edit and select the measure and select the vertical distance and pick the first point and pick the second point and place the side side of the dimension now the plate length should be 7 inches right click on mouse center click on space right click on mouse data view select this plate and now coming to the bolts click on this bolts tab and we're going to change the bolt size half inch so click on here and select half inch and tolerance is 1 by 16 if you want to change you can change from here then click on modify to see the result you can see now the bolt size should be half inch now coming to the lengthwise bolts so for example in the lengthwise we require the two rows so enter here two and the spacing between the two bolts for example we're going to take three inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now we have the two rows in the lengthwise and the spacing between the two bolts should be three inch if you want to place three bolts then you can place it here let's take three three rows and the spacing we're going to take two then click on modify you can see you'll get like this okay currently we record only two bolts so we're going to enter here two and the spacing between the two bolts three inch then click on modify let's take three and click on modify to see the result like this now coming to the width wise for example we require two two columns and the spacing let's take three inch and the edge distance 1.5 one and a half inch click on modify to see the result you can see click on space right click on mouse to view now edge distance should be one and a half inch and the distance between the two bolts should be three inch and the edge distance should be one and a half inch you can see from two the number of columns in this plate should be two if you want to change three you can just place the three number of columns then click on modify select this connection plate then click on modify to see the result you can see now here the number of columns three and the spacing between the two bolts should be three inches and the edge distance should be one and a half inch okay currently we're going to take two bolts then click on modify like this okay this is the welding symbol to hide this welding symbol click on space right from us read out okay that's it then click on select this connection plate then click on modify apply okay if you want to place this connection plate as you required for example we're going to place the connection plate from two feet or uh, from left side and uh, two feet from right side so let's take the replace point so click on this point and let's take at any position point and place it here at the edge and one more point we're going to take at this position right click on mouse interrupt now drag and select this point right click on mouse move special linear in the y direction you can see global y axis we need to move two feet click on move and ok now the, this point two feet from edge similarly we are going to move this point right click on mouse interrupt select this point drag and select this point right click on mouse move special linear now in this case we need to move in the opposite global y axis so enter here negative minus two feet then click on move okay right click on mouse interrupt now this point should be two feet from edge of this angle okay you can measure from here you can see two feet similarly you can measure from here two feet right click on mouse interrupt now we're going to place this same connection plate at this location and at this location so click on this application components and select this pin profile connection plate and select the angle and pick the position at here 
to create the connection plate like this. Similarly, we are going to place the connection plate at here. So set the angle and pick the position at this point to create the connection plate at here. And close this window, right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse, 3W. Now click on this window and select this 3D view. Click on space, right click on mouse, 3D view to refresh the window like this. You can see. Just like this. That's it about how to create pin profile connection plate in Tecla structures. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tecla structure related videos, please go to my channel. YouTube.com slash SK. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here. Under videos, you can find out so many Tecla structure related videos. I hope these videos might be helpful to you. And at the top right corner, please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe, you will get notification or updates when uploading a new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay, thank you.